Biden seeks to resolve transatlantic tensions during Macron visit. President Biden and President Emmanuel Macron of France sought to ease transatlantic tensions over Mr. Biden's domestic manufacturing agenda on Thursday, with both leaders emerging from an official state visit promising to work together on economic policies that have rankled European officials. Mr. Biden promised to make tweaks to a sprawling clean energy law passed earlier this summer that Mr. Macron said was at risk of fracturing the economic alliance between America and Europe. Officials in France and other parts in Europe have said the law, known as the Inflation Reduction Act, provides an unfair advantage to U.S. firms by offering generous tax incentives that encourage North American manufacturing. Since his arrival in Washington on Wednesday, Mr. Macron has made clear his displeasure over Mr. Biden's domestic policies, including a separate bill to boost U.S. semiconductor manufacturing known as the CHIPS Act. The French president warned in a speech at French Embassy on Wednesday evening and during an interview on ABC's Good Morning America that the laws could hamper relations between the U.S. and Europe and freeze multinational investment on both continents. The choices made, whose objectives I share, in particular the Inflation Reduction Act and the CHIPS Act, are choices that will fragment the West because they create such differences between the United States and Europe, Mr. Macron said at the embassy event. By the time of their joint news conference on Thursday afternoon, Mr. Biden appeared ready to appease Mr. Macron. We're going to continue to create manufacturing jobs, but not at the expense of Europe, Mr. Biden said, adding that he was going to address glitches in the Inflation Reduction Act. Yet it is unclear how the president might satisfy Mr. Macron's concerns. Any changes to the law, which passed with only Democratic support, would likely require an act of Congress. Such action could soon be hard to come by, Republicans will take control of the House next year, and key Democrats in the Senate have shown little willingness to water down measures they cemented into law, in hopes of bolstering American manufacturing competitiveness. Still, Mr. Macron appeared pleased with the assurances Mr. Biden gave him in the course of a morning meeting at the White House, which included a protracted discussion of Mr. Biden's economic plans. We agreed to resynchronize our approaches, our agendas, in order to invest in critical emerging industries, Mr. Macron said at the news conference. Mr. Biden's plans to boost American manufacturing are part of his administration's efforts to to position the United States as a leader in reducing the fossil fuel emissions driving climate change and to become less reliant on foreign nations for critical materials, like semiconductors.